FTX starting day one of Chapter 11 bankruptcy hearings in a Delaware court today. Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan here with the very latest. Alexis, this is, uh, we thought we were going to get Elon versus Twitter in a Delaware court. This might be far more complex. What do we learn today? Yeah, Dave, I think that it is. This hearing started at 11 a.m. this morning. It went for about two hours, and the purpose was really for FTX to go forward and make a series of requests to re mainly spend its money, the remaining money that it has less left. It needs approval from the court to do that. So what happened was its lawyer got up. It had a bunch of lawyers there, but in an overview, one of its lawyers told the court a short history of FTX. They called the implosion one of the most abrupt and difficult collapses in the history of corporate America and also the history of corporate entities around the world, so uh, saying a lot there. And some of the key issues, though, that came out of the hearing, they revolved around the company's assets, as well as some jurisdictional issues, and also payments to employees and vendors, and also identity of FTX's customers. That hasn't happened yet. Now, as for the assets, FTX said that it made substantial progress in locating and securing the company's assets, but the absence of info and abysmal accounting practices made that really frustrating. And and so at this point, the company can't even say what its total assets are. So far, the company has said it has $9 billion in liabilities and that it's found about $1.24 billion in cash assets. Now, as expected, the judge did grant FTX's motion to pay its employees, its vendors, its advisors. Those are lawyers and bankers primarily. And we also learned that the company has now 260 employees in the debtor entities that are subject to this bankruptcy. And that's down from 330 approximately at the time of the filing. Uh, now, the dispute came over the names and identities, uh, addresses included, of FTX's customers. So the U.S. Trust trustee, and that's a uh, government representative that's appointed in all bankruptcy cases, they disagreed with FTX. They said that the name should be disclosed in the name of transparency. FTX said no, that they should be under seal because these are special creditors, that it's not the typical kind of creditor you'd have in a bankruptcy. And so uh, the judge did grant it on a temporary basis. He said, for now, those names will remain under seal. Dave? Some of those may be Chinese, and it is still illegal for them to invest in crypto at this point. Alexis Keenan with the latest from the Delaware court. Thank you.